I would like first to introduce this a bit. Why do we need instrument orientation? Since surveying is defined as an art or science of determining relative positions, the word relative positions, it is the one which is telling us that you have no choice of making this instrument orientation. That instrument where it stands now, it doesn't know where it is on this earth surface. It doesn't know. This instrument doesn't know that it is straight, it located at IPR city guard. It doesn't know. So since you, so you are applying it in surveying, so as an art of determining relative positions, you have to take this instrument that you are, sit, you are located here at IPR city guard, then give me all the data which, is, which are relevant to this area. That's why we need instrument orientation. Good. I'm now going to occupy ST5. This is ST5. I go to the programs. I press OK. I enter the program. There is a station setup in the program. There is a survey. There is a stakeout. There is a reference line. So it's for me, I'm interested with instrument station setup. Then I go in the station setup. Then they are telling me, set up a station and determine its coordinate and orientation. So I continue. When you open, by default, you find the resection. But I'm not going to use the resection method. The resection method is coming next to this, to this one. Then I go. I go in. This is orientation with angle then orientation with coordinates. I continue because I need to orient the instrument with coordinate. Then it is telling me, can you please name where you are standing? I'm, I'm standing on, it is not K1, I'm going to the wrist. This is ST5. It is already in the database of the, this instrument. I go to ST5. This is ST5. I press continue. Then it is telling me what is the height of the reflector, the instrument. The height of instrument, it is the height measured from the top of this ground point to this point. This is the, to this point or to the center of this uh, prism. So, I'm going to measure it with a tape. I have a tape here. I'm going to measure it. I put it on approximately on the top of this ground point and I read here. This is instrument height. It is the center of the... So you can see here that it is approximately 1.49, 1.49, about one and a half meter. So I enter the height of instrument, 1.49. That is the height from the top of the ground point. Right. So then I press enter, then I press continue. Then it is telling me what is the target point. I have said that to make the instrument orientation, you need at least two points. One point you have to occupy, and another point you have to tell that you guy, you are, sit, you, you, you are located here, and that is your neighbor. Please, if you, you can know that neighbor, you can locate yourself where you are. So then I'm going to put. The, 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 the target point, I'm going to the wrist. I press here, F1. Then I go. That point is called STT. This point here. It is called STT2. This is the target point, which is ST2.
someone to help me, please. You can go there and put on the top of it. We are going to do instrument orientation with the first method. The first method was occupying an only point. The only point I've occupied, it is this ST5. This ST5, it is its coordinates are predetermined. That's why it is called control point. The control point, it is a point whose coordinates were previously determined, which is used on the field when you are going to use total station. I've said that uh, instrument orientation is a step of telling the instrument that on, the, on this earth surface, you are located at this position. So please, the data I'm going to be asking you, let them be relevant to this area. So sometimes when you fail to make the instrument orientation well, you can eventually find the data you have collected are falling somewhere else that you, you have never even reached. So let us go. You enter in the program of this total station. You go in the program, you press enter. There is station setup. You press enter. It is telling you set up a station and determine its coordinate and orientation. Then you press enter. When you go in, you find orient with coordinates. I have these coordinates ST5, ST5 and there there is STT2. Then I'm going to press continue. The instrument is telling me what is your occupation point. So I'm occupying ST5. I go to the list. By default, there is ST5. But if this was not the one which is here, I would go in the list. I go through all this point to find which is ST5. Then this ST5 that I'm occupying, then I press continue. The instrument is telling me what is the height where I'm standing from the ground point, the top of ground point, to this triplac, where am I standing? So I have about 1.49, about 1.45. So I type in 1.49, then I press enter. Then I press continue. Then the instrument is telling me enter the target point. What is your target point? My target point, it is that one, which is STT2. The, the coordinate of STT2 are known. So I'm going to cite there, but before I'm going to tell the, the instrument that my target point is STT2. I'm going to go through the job, the job and the Look for STT2. This is STT2. Then I press continue. Then it is also telling me what is the height of reflector. That reflector, what is the height of it? It is about, it is 1.3. Why does instrument telling us to tell it the height of instrument and the height of reflector? Normally, I should have come and put this one down. And that one, because I am interested on this point and on the point where the, tri the reflector stand is. So it is telling me to, 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 to give it the information about the reflector, the instrument height, so that it subtracts. Because, let me show it by here. The height of instrument, it is 1.49 meters. The height of reflector, the height of instrument is 1.49, and the height of instrument reflector it is 1.3. So since the instrument is standing up, it is going to subtract the 1.49 to get the, the, the corresponding elevation of that point. It is also going to subtract the height of reflector, which is 1.3, to get the, the corresponding 
elevation. Because I don't need the elevation on that uh, prism. I need the, 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 I need the elevation on the top of that ground point. So I'm going to, to sight the target. You can see the laser is on, okay? Then I press measure here. No, sorry, I have not entered the, that 1.3. Enter, then I measure. Then, in the table, in this display, the, there is, uh, the, uh, it, it is uh, displaying more options. Measure more point, measure in other face, access tolerance and compute. Because I have done what I have to do, I'm going to tell it compute. Now you can see it has now determined the coordinate. Then I'm going to set. When I set, then I calculate the average. It is telling me the station orientation set. Now I can go on with data correction of any point or any serving purpose that I have come for on the, on the field. So thank you. Then I'm going to go to the next step, which is orienting the instrument with free station or section.